Yeah. Um, hope you guys are doing good. Um, happy Thanksgiving. You know, we're uh, back on our last week now, and and um, you know, basically got nothing else but this game this season. So focus will be on trying to get this win and trying to send the seniors out on a win, and also trying to set the tone for next season and something that we can work off of. So that's kind of been the the, mo the main focus and. I think looking back on the film kind of just confirmed a little bit of what I said after the game uh, on Saturday. And um, so I'll just open up the questions after that. Do you feel like the team as a whole, the coaches and the players, have a good idea of what needs to be different moving forward? I mean, this last game, obviously, kind of using it as a springboard, but I feel like you got a good idea of what needs to be different. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know what, what, I mean, as, as we look in, in uh, every year you you look at, and you evaluate everything and um, I think it's during the season you want to make changes during the season and, and improve as you go throughout game to week to week you know and but at the end of the season you're uh, regardless of what the record is you're always evaluating it and trying to uh, see areas that you can improve on and so I think that's kind of um, it's hard to make this a statement and have it cover long term and short term improvements but uh, that that'll be my um, That'll be my job after this after this week. But right now, the focus is to get this win and, and uh, find a way to do it in, in Hawaii. How are you going to find the balance between, like you said, enjoying Hawaii, like you said after the game, mm -hmm. and basically making sure you guys are focused and ready to play a football game? Well, so if you look at what we've done, we decided to leave and go to Hawaii Wednesday. We arrived Wednesday night, you know, and. Um, if we're flying um, two hours, if it's a two-hour time difference, we've left uh, usually on a Thursday, and uh, that's been a lot of different places. And uh, looking at our history in Hawaii, we kind of looked at all the different times that the times that we've been successful, and times that we've struggled, and um, in, in a lot of the times that we've done well is when we've arrived there Wednesday evening. You know, so um, looking at that compared to. Some of the times that we've struggled, we've arrived um, as late as, as Friday morning or even Thursday evening. And um, the, the goal is to go win the game. This isn't, I mean, I, I said, you know, we're not going to a bowl game a couple weeks ago and, and trying to say that we got to use these three games as our bowl game. But this is this is a regular game. And we, it's not a bowl game where there's a lot of time to to really have a lot of uh, entertainment. I mean, we'll, we'll try to make the best of it as we're there and just try not to have too much idle time, you know. but. Uh, I think everything's scheduled. We have great, uh, uh, great people with us, and we have bed checks. But we have to practice, so we have our regular practices on Thursday and Fridays there, and, and um, Thursday morning, Friday morning. But you know, you're in Hawaii, so you, you um, let them just have a couple, uh, you know, some time where they can just enjoy the beach a little bit. But um, that's because we're there all day. You know, um, it's like if those guys are. Playing Call of Duty right now, they'd be playing Call of Duty when they have a couple hours here at home. Uh, the difference is we'll be there, and it being a holiday and getting out there before, so we can get settled um, and not traveling all on Thanksgiving. You know, I think it's important for our players to feel settled and and uh, have a little bit of, of a holiday on Thursday, and Thanksgiving, and and then uh, move forward and try to win this game. I mean, that's our, our schedule is not a lot different than what we've had if we we're at home or if we we're on other road trips, but. The difference is that we're there earlier when we usually are at home practicing. So we're trying to, um, you know, these guys don't have the comforts of going back to back home after practice on Thursday. So we'll have to try to uh, find a way to make them feel comfortable in Hawaii. And but the goal is to win the game, and that's that's the ultimate goal. And you know, that's what that's what we're focused on. That's what I'm focused on as a head coach right now. There's a lot of history in this series. It goes back a long ways. What, mm -hmm. what does BYU playing at Hawaii mean to the program? Well, it's huge. We have, a, I mean, everyone that's, that's uh, we have so many guys that, that uh, a, lot of, a lot of the Polynesians on the team have connections there and have family there. And that's kind of like the gateway to the uh, United States, to the States, is going through Hawaii. So um, there's a lot of people that have roots there, but more than anything, we have a lot of family and, and um, there's a lot of fan support there too. So uh, the church is strong in, in the state of Hawaii. And, um, you know, I anticipate there'll be a lot of fans at the game just like we've seen on the road and at home so uh, we're excited to play for them and again you know senior day didn't go well for us this last weekend but we have one more last game to send our guys out as winners and and, and just as important moving forward and trying to set the tone for next season so that's 
that's ultimate the ultimate goal for us right now. I would imagine there's also a recruiting aspect of playing in Hawaii too, correct? Oh yeah, I mean, anytime you're on you're playing football, that that's recruiting, you know. And um, but uh, we have a recruiting style and 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 a, and a you know a base and people that we're looking for, and and so uh, we happen to have a lot of recruits that have family in Hawaii and have connections there. So yeah, that that matters, but. When, when it's all said and done, trying to win the game is the most important thing. How has the season's struggles affected your recruiting and, and your prospects, and has it turned off some guys? Um, well, I, I can't say that it hasn't. You know, I, I, I don't think that it's been a, a catastrophe as far as recruiting goes because uh, we're always going to have, like I said before, our recruiting is a little different than other places, you know, and there, there are guys that, that – um, that have, have been committed for years and are still committed, you know, and there's others that uh, regardless of what the season is, that, that you're going to always have a little bit of a attrition here and there in recruiting. That's at every program. But I think we have more guys that are committed early here and then they usually stay that way. And uh, it really hasn't seen a huge, um, it hasn't been a huge detriment in, in our recruiting efforts. And I think we're recruiting a certain kind of a, uh, a certain kind of player, you know, that, that can live this lifestyle and be part of this program and understand what we do here at BYU. What have you seen from the Warriors? Well, um, they've had some struggles this year too, you know, and obviously they had some struggles last week. And um, But, you know, I, I think they run the ball well. And, and I know I've known Nick Rolovich for a long time, and I know his style of football. He's, you know, he's, he's been around and, and he understands the game and, and um, he knows how to put points up. I, I think that they have a really good running back and, um, they have guys that, that care about winning too, and so the, the, same, the stuff that I'm saying is the same stuff that they're saying to their guys too, and so they're trying to build a, a, for next year and, and trying to send their seniors out the right way, and we're trying to do the same thing. So uh, we have a, a common, uh, common goal, you know, and it's just going to matter on who, who can get that accomplished on Saturday. But a lot of respect for that program and a lot of the, the Hawaii fans, and I mean, you know, we, we're uh, being having connections to that area. You know, we're, 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 we know, uh, we're really familiar with Hawaii, so um, we've seen UH play football, and uh, we follow them a little bit closely, more as Polynesian people than anything, because you have a lot of people in there that you know. And so it'd be, it'd be a cool game. I just think the fans, I remember being a kid and going to Aloha Stadium, and, uh, you know, and it'd be, it was wild cheering for BYU in that stadium and having the type of support that we had there. It's, it's, it's been fun. So uh, looking forward to, to keeping this uh, this game that we've had in the past, keep it going. And I know they'll be here next year, so it's going to be fun to go to Hawaii, but it'll be even more fun if we win the game. Well, they gave up over 300 yards to Utah State in that loss. Do you want to see your offense go back to more of a digit against UNLV to maybe take advantage of that? I think I said, I think I said <laughs> that a lot last week. I just want to score points. And, um, you know, I, I think we've shown that uh, the best way to score points is probably – implementing the run game, especially with a new quarterback, you know. So um, I know we were behind quite a bit but in trying to play catch up. But uh, I think our strength is in the O-line and trying to score points. I, I could care less how the points get on the board, but let's just find a way to score score more points and get more than them. How hard is the balance with Thanksgiving football? I mean, it's intertwined every mm -hmm. year, it seems like. I mean, just finding that balance with the holiday and being able to enjoy that, but also having the football games. And I don't think it's a struggle. I mean, I, I think the hardest part is, is um, players are used to being with their families during this time, you know, and so uh, we're trying to kind of be the, the surrogate family for our players while they're away from home, and you know, and just trying to give them a good, a good, um, a good experience. You know what I mean? And so I, I think that our our guys, you understand that as you play college football, Thanksgiving is always going to be different. You know, and that's uh, and if you coach it, that's always different. So, the holidays are always going to be a different deal as a coach and as a player in college football. That's just the way it goes. Does a year like this, with all of the, the tough times and the struggles, make you more thankful for the the little things and make players maybe appreciate the little things a little bit more and all the successes? Of course. I mean, I think you know we've been preaching gratitude and appreciation for where they're at and and giving credit to the people that got them got them to where they're at. So it's just fitting that's Thanksgiving week and it's the last game for us, you know, in this season, and um, I think there's always, there can always be a good spirit of, of, of gratitude, and um, it's just nice that Thanksgiving is there to remind us once a year, but 
truly Thanksgiving should be every day. I'm thankful that you're alive and you're in the place that you're at. And, um, you know, there's not a lot of complaints other than we just need to win more football games. And I think we have an idea of how to get that done. Kalani, what have your conversations been like with Tom Homo this season? Good. I mean, Tom's been, he's, you know, he's been around, he's been 80 for a long time and I value his, uh, his, his opinion, his advice. And so, um, you know, he and, and Brian have been good resources for me. And so, yeah, we've, we've been in communication quite a bit. You, would you uh, term those positive? Uh, yeah, I mean, describe those. Yeah, it's that's part of communication, you know. I think it covers all the bases. So, yeah, there's not. Yeah, this is part of life. You just communicate. So it's hard to say like, are all your communications with your friends all positive? The point is, you communicate, you talk. So that's what it comes down to. I, I, I know where we sit, and I know how to get fixed and and how to improve, and that's what that's the goal is to get improve improve on it. But the main focus right now is to win this game because that could help out a lot.